Dean, we are doing healthy Mexican. We are doing healthy Mexican. Now, I don't know about you, sometimes you go into a Mexican restaurant, you know, and you get the tortilla chips piled up real high, loads of cheese, Wonderful. you know. Which is amazing, but in January, but, you know, we're looking to cut back. For sure. I decided to take all those amazing flavours and kind of put a healthy twist on it. And I'm actually serving it in a bowl, which is fantastic because that way you're not as tempted to pile really high. So it's okay. all about portion control. Portion get, control by getting good. the right balance, Lorraine. So a good balance of protein, fats and carbs. Excellent. OK, so the main element of this is my lovely chicken dish. Right. OK, so in the pan here, I've got two chicken breasts, right. which is great because that's going to feed a family of four. So it's nice and inexpensive as well. Okay. Sure. Slice really thin into a pan, get it going nice and hot. We want to get a little bit of colour. OK. OK, then into that pan, we're going to add some sliced pepper, okay. some onion and some garlic. Lovely. So, that goes in and it's quite actually quick yeah, and easy to yeah. do, you know. So get that in. OK. We want to let that cook off literally for a minute or so just to start softening up. Mm -hmm. OK, so we can do this over a kind of medium to high heat. Get that going and the smells already are coming out. Now, a normal way that people try to add flavour to food is to add lots of fat yes. and sugar, you know. Yep. Spices are a great way to mm. add. This. So I've got some spices here, smoked paprika, Wonderful. which can add that little yeah. kick, so yeah. that smokiness. We've got some coriander and some cumin. So it's always worthwhile having a nice little store cupboard sure. of your spices. So we get those in, and lovely. we want to let those Good just dollar. cook out. Yeah, lovely. OK, yeah, this is packed Ooh. full of flavour, you know. Excellent. So give that a little bit of a stir, and it's already starting to come together. Now, here I've got some tomato puree, okay. which is going to add colour, and a nice bit of body to this dish. Right. And again, just cook that out because tomato paste has kind of got this raw mm. flavour to it. So we want to just cook that down a touch. Then we go in with our stock. Now I'm using chicken stock, but if you decided that you want to go down a vegetarian route with this and you wanted to use some sweet potatoes, some butternut squash, instead of the chicken, instead of the chicken <laughs> use your vegetable stock okay. and it will be just as delicious. Mm. So we bring this up to a similar range. Okay. And then we're going to bolt this out with some beans. Now, right. I'm just using black beans here. Dead simple. You know, you can use red kidney beans, whatever you can get, but, sure. you know, these are a great source of fibre as well. So we get those in, and this is all about this balanced dish. Yeah. This is going to simmer away for around 15 minutes, just to do its thing for those flavours to come together. I could do this, Dean. I could actually You could do this, do this do you Lorraine. Know what? I made the tea on Saturday night. Hang on. <laughs> I made the tea. It's the only thing I can do. I made paella and it was all right. Was it good? Yeah, it was all right. But this I could do. This you could do, Lorraine. I could do this. Right, we're going to serve this with a lovely fresh salsa. Now, Excellent. in supermarkets, you tend to find some of the salsas and sauces that you get are loaded full of sugar. You know, by making it yourself, you know exactly what goes in. Mm -hmm. So we've got some lovely sweet cherry tomatoes, some red onion, we've got some coriander, lime juice. Yum. I mean, it doesn't get any simpler than this, does it? Let's be honest. I could do this. A good bit of olive oil in there. We give that a little bit of a stir, OK, just to bring this all together. That's lovely. That looks so fresh. It's oh, beautiful. do you know what? It's really fresh. It's like I'm serving mine with whole grain rice as well, which oh, is that's good. great. You know, that's so we've got some lovely slow-release carbs. Oaks it out as well. Exactly, exactly. Beautiful. So we've got our protein, our carbs. Yep. We've got some good fats just coming in from avocado. Of course. OK. I've got a couple of tortilla chips here, Lorraine. Yeah. Just for a little bit of crunch and texture. Why not? Let's get some of Looks our salsa so on the side. Now, this is an optional extra, but I love a tiny dollop of sour cream. So do I, so do I. This is beautiful. Lorraine, dive into that. Like I said, I it's... I make this. You I can, will make this, Dean, and I'll take it. a photograph of it to prove... I should have taken a picture of the paella for you, shouldn't I? Well, I'm, I'm not sure mm. I believe you, though. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but oh it's all goodness. about a balance, you know, and this just goes to show wow. that healthy food doesn't need to be boring, you know? We've got some amazing punchy flavours in there, and... This is great. This is just great. I'm going to do it, I promise. Do you promise me? I do, I will. <laughs> I really will. Oh, it smells so good. Thank you. No problem at all. It's all good to have you back.